Hey everybody, welcome to Dove and Serpent Tarot. Um, this is not going to be a tarot reading. I, I wanted to just um, make a, a short video to, on the one hand, express my gratitude and my appreciation for everybody who watches these readings, who um, interacts with the channel, leaves comments, um, watches the video all the way through till the end, maybe watches multiple readings. All of that stuff, all of that interaction really helps out the channel. And for some reason right now, the, the algorithm is not being all that kind to Dove and Serpent Tarot. Um, so it's more important now, I think, than ever for us to support the tarot readers and really all the YouTube channels that we really like and that we appreciate. Uh, support them by watching their videos for as long as, as we can and interacting, leaving comments, hitting the like button, subscribing to them if we, if we haven't subscribed yet. And I'm not just talking about my channel. Of course, I want you to do that here too. Uh, but for any tarot reader or any YouTube channel that you appreciate, um, it seems like uh, the algorithm kind of rules the world nowadays, right? So I, I think it's important for us to show support to those channels that we that we appreciate. And my intention in this video was to express my appreciation for you. Um, I love reading all the comments. I love the interaction. I love the, the games that we play. I love all the fun things that we do during the readings. Um, a lot of the time I wish that we were doing live readings. You know, that way I can get more of the kind of um, more of the immediate interaction and feedback and stuff. But my schedule here, I don't think very many people would uh, tune into the live reading uh, just because I, I film quite early in the morning. Um, but the other thing I wanted to do on this channel was just to talk about some of these little things that I have on my desk. I get a lot of questions. People are wondering, like, you know, what do these things mean and, and what are all these little um, little items that I have, you know. So I was just going to maybe go through a few of them. Uh, the first thing, I, I just put this on the desk uh, recently. This is uh, my wife's bell. She gave this to me just this morning, actually. And I like to use this whenever we get um, one of our power cards, right, for any of the signs. So like the Emperor for Aries or the Hierophant for Taurus or the Moon for Pisces will ring the bell because I think that's a really special occasion when we have uh, a power card you know, for any of our signs that we're reading for. Um, I also, these are kind of cool. Someone thought that these were batteries. These are uh, essential oils, right? These are from the Empress and the Hierophant. Um, it's a, an, Etsy uh, an Etsy store. And my wife found these. You know, my wife finds most of these things for me. Um, I'm, I'm comfortable enough to admit that. Uh, but this is the Dove and the Serpent essential oils. I don't know what is in them, but I love them. They smell great. And I like to um, just kind of randomly pick one and to anoint myself with before I, I film the readings for the day. Sometimes it's the Dove, sometimes it's the Serpent, you know. So check out that uh, Etsy store. It's the Empress and the, uh, the Hierophant. Uh, I don't know who runs the store. I just, I don't have any affiliation with them. I just, my wife found those and they're, they're really nice. Um, what else? We've got, well, we've got the frog. This is Kevin, AKA Mr. Bates. Kevin is from the office, uh, Bullfrog in Love. Um, and it's also Mr. Bates because of Downton Abbey, which I really love that show too. This is our lizard who did burn his foot and tail in a candle. Uh, not too long ago. We don't have a name for the lizard yet, so if anybody has an idea for the little blue lizard, well, we're open to suggestions. Here we have Alien Simon Mork Ripley. These are all my daughter's toys, and she used to come to the, to the studio to play once in a while, and, and she everywhere she goes, she brings, she has to bring like a handful of toys everywhere, in the car, when we go for walks, uh, anywhere. So when she comes down here, she'll bring a handful of toys, and there's always one that gets left behind, right? So this is kind of my my collection of um, of toys that have been left behind, right? So those are those are special to me. And Mr. Ed the horse too. And when we go through different uh, energetic cycles of readings, um, not only do I have a different color shirt and tie, but 
I'll use a different uh, one of these uh, toys to be the guardian of the mystery card. Yeah. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Well, I've got the Dove and Serpent business card. And again, you'll never guess, my wife designed them. Um, and I have these with me usually when I go places in case on the off chance I actually meet someone in the outside world, right? That I can kind of turn them on to the channel. Um, I've never actually given any of these away yet. Uh, an interesting thing did happen the other day. I was with my daughter at a local park and I met two of you. Um, I was approached by two people that um, said they were fans of the channel. Now, I was kind of shocked because that's literally never happened to me. And I'm sure that I seemed uh, like a bit of an awkward goofball, uh, which I am. Uh, but it was, uh, it was actually really cool to meet uh, someone out in real life that is, you know, that, w that watches the, the tarot readings here. So that was really cool. And to my own regret, I don't remember their names. I apologize. If you're watching, I apologize. Um, I wish we could have had a longer conversation and, uh, you know, but it was, it was nice and I enjoyed it and I appreciated it. Uh, let's see, what else do we've got? We've got the Dove and Serpent here and these were from Amazon. Um, and I actually found these. This one opens up, I think, yeah, there, see that that opens up. I don't have anything in there yet. Uh, we'll find something to, to stick in there and our little serpent. Um, let's see, uh, Totwell cards. These are, these are important, whoops. These are important energies. These are uh, from the Hindu tradition and these are sub elements. So this one is the water of spirit, right? And obviously there are 25 of them to show the different combination of elements. And what I'll do is uh, I'll shuffle this this deck and I'll pick one Tatwa card that kind of presides over the um, the entire energetic cycle of readings, right? So we have the water of spirit for this current cycle that we're on, which actually I just filmed Pisces today. Uh, so this cycle is is going to is going to reset tomorrow morning. So these will all be different uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, so this is, yeah, the water, the water of spirit. Um, and then these are just the, uh, the stones that have the images for the, the zodiac signs. See, I just did Pisces here. There are obviously 12 of those. So I keep those on the desk just to kind of try to channel in the, the energy for the sign that I'm reading for. Um, and as just something for me visually to connect with as I'm doing the readings. You probably see me a lot like just just randomly kind of looking around the table and stuff. And that's just because my eyes are falling on some of these different things that I have and picking up something, um, you know, maybe from the essential oils. Maybe it's the frog looking at me. Um, maybe it's just the Totwell card, but I'll connect with some energy that's here and that'll help me to uh, continue with the reading, you know. Um, here I have an I Ching card. These are just illustrations that are meant to reflect uh, somewhat of the meaning of each of the hexagrams. And I'm not too familiar with um, with what these illustrations are, which hexagram they connect to. So I don't use these very often, but sometimes, like this one might be the well. Uh, it seems like it probably the well, uh, which I think is uh, 50 or 51 per, I don't know, I could be wrong. But I have those out too as kind of just an energy that um, that can influence the the energetic cycle that we're we're in. So again, this card's going to be changed out uh, tomorrow morning. And sometimes, as I'm reading, my eyes might fall on that, and I'll I'll take some sort of inspiration from that. And uh, over here, these are really cool. These are the Mexican Lotteria cards. It's like Mexican bingo, and there's uh, a whole pack of them. And I, I like these because they kind of, at first I was like, oh, what, they're like tarot cards or something kind of. And they are in a way, but they're, uh, they're just meant for a, a type of bingo game as far as I understand. I'm not, I don't know really exactly for sure. Um, but they also have these, uh, and see now I, I lost the El Valiente. They have riddles that go with each one. Okay, and I, 
I made it a point to try to learn the riddles. I, I haven't been studying them as much as I should, so I don't know what the riddles are. And at some point, there we go, at some point I want to learn the riddles for each card because I feel like those riddles all have a, a nice kind of lesson in them. And there's kind of an, an esoteric lesson about those riddles that to me feels like they would be very helpful in a tarot reading, in a divination, you know. So that is one of my goals, one of my many goals um, as far as my, my, my personal continued evolution and, and education and growth. Um, so yeah, I, I like those, those cards very much. Uh, the I Ching coins here, this is one way of, uh, of one method for casting a hexagram. You, you, know, you shake the coins, you throw them, and you, uh, you add up the heads or tails, and that tells you what line of the hexagram you're drawing, whether it's going to be a, a broken yin line or a solid yang line. But for that purpose, I also have this yes or no coin. And this is something that uh, my wife found for me also online somewhere. It's just, it's yes or no. And uh, you can flip a coin six times. If you get a yes, well, that could be a solid yang line. If you get a no, it could be a broken yin line. Six times you build your hexagram and there you go. Uh, otherwise, it just kind of helps make, helps me make a decision of, you know, what to have for dinner or, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, my wife found this at a, I believe this was at a powwow uh, locally uh, last year. I'm not sure what it's made out of, but sometimes I'll use this to um, just kind of focus my power, you know, focus my energies as uh, kind of a wand, you know, uh, a, a tool for concentration. Let's see, what else do I have out here? Well, I've got my orb. Um, I used to use this for scrying. It's it's not too good for that purpose with all the lights that are in here, but uh, to sit in a dark room with maybe a candle behind you and to gaze into something like this. Um, I think it's very close to what we do with tarot reading and with other forms of divination. We just try to see what kind of energies or images or experiences we can get um, uh, that we can then communicate, you know, and whether we're doing that through pictures on a card or through pictures that we might um, that we might see in something like this, you know. Uh, so I have that here as kind of a, a way for me to um, tap into my own intuition, my own unconscious. Yeah. Uh, then, of course, the raw quartz, which I feel um, picks up all of the kind of spiritual energy that is generated through these readings, and it kind of acts as a battery, you know. So when somebody asked if these were batteries, on the table. No, those aren't the batteries. It's the raw quartz that is the the battery. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else. Well, the last thing I guess is my my teacup here, which is um, I don't really know. Guess what? My wife found it for me. My wife does tea leaf readings. She's over at Ula, U L A, Ula Tea Leaf Readings. Um, she is a wonderful person, a wonderful spirit and soul, um, wonderful partner, and she finds just the coolest things for me. She, she really, she knows me very well. She knows what I like. And this is either uh, Turkish or, or Arabic or something, and um, well, it's just, it's just beautiful. Uh, so I keep my, my drink in there. Lately, I've just been drinking lemon water. I was drinking uh, tea, but I feel like that was affecting my voice a little bit too much, so switch to lemon water. It's not as fun, but it's better for me, I guess. Anyway, um, I think that's it. Sorry, this was kind of a boring, boring video, but for anybody that cares or wants to watch it, well, here it is, so uh, you can do that. And before we go, we will just select one, one card to let you know that all of you are the most important part of Dove and Serpent Tarot. And we've got a six of cups, pleasure, happiness, harmony. This is a really, this is a good card for, for this read, for this video, anyway. Uh, the six of cups. I think that we are all in for a very wonderful time, a wonderful day. I hope to hear from all of you. And as always, I'll see you again very soon.